Hi, I'm Vicky and I'm going to give you a virtual tour of Tracks and Cream. So come with me and we'll check out the glamping site. When you arrive, I'll be here to meet you. You can leave your car here while you unload any of your fridge stuff. So let me show you the kitchen now. So here we are in the communal kitchen. So this kitchen is for the whole of the glamping site, but it mainly serves New Holland Dome, Ferguson Dome and Deer Dome. So they've got their own fridges, there's an oven, toaster, kettle, sink, microwave. So everything you would need to cook a full meal is all in here. And those three domes have got their own cupboards as well just to store some of their stuff. Then we come through this way. So in here you will find the shower room that is just for Ferguson Dome. So this is its own private shower room. You can leave towels and toiletries and bits and pieces like that in here. As you come through the corridor, there's a little toilet in here. And then you come through to the games room. So this is a great space if you want to cook in the kitchen, eat in here. If the kids want to play in a bit of soft play, there's some books and some games. And then you can just help yourself to anything that you might need. So over here, we've got our visitors book, which we'd love you to fill in if you come and stay. And also, grab yourselves a treasure hunt or a sculpture trail, or both. So there's some pens here, you have to find the hidden letters around the site and once you work out the password then I'll give you a prize. Mainly for the kids, for the big kids too. Let me show you in our afternoon tea hut. So this is where we hold private bookings for afternoon tea or you can book afternoon tea as part of your glamping stay. So we can see up to about 15 in here and we tend to have lots of baby showers and hen parties and things like that. So it's set up for afternoon tea for six at the moment and we serve sandwiches, cakes, scones, all the things you would get in a normal, nice British afternoon tea. So these are the showers for New Holland Dome and Deer Dome. So the lights just come on automatically as you come in and then we've got one shower room here and one shower room here. And when you arrive, I'll let you know which one that you're in. Just over here we've got our honesty shop. So we've got a few bits and pieces for sale in here that might be helpful during your stay. Um, we've got wood and kindling fire lighters, ice creams, drinks, um, chocolate biscuits for s'mores, um, charcoal, marshmallows, lots of different pieces, bits and pieces you'll find in here. So when you arrive and you've sorted yourselves out down in the kitchen, then I will take you up to the dome. So you will drive up the driveway there and I normally run straight up the middle. So over here you'll find the kids play area, there's a sand pit, a slide, some swings, a little trampoline and some tyres to play on. So that's just up here next to the campfire area and then you go further down to the event dome. But let me take you into New Holland Dome. So this dome is brand new for 2023 and it replaced our blue yurt. So this is New Holland Dome, it sleeps up to five. So we've got a double bed, this can be converted into a sofa or a double futon and a single bed. You've got a table and chairs and a wood burner here as well. And the lights will run off the solar. Outside you've got a picnic bench and a barbecue. In here is a little toilet, so you don't have to go too far for a wee in the night. So it's just a normal shed with a toilet in it and some hand sanitizer. And in here you'll find the kitchen shed where you've got a little camping stove and all the kind of pots and pans you could need to cook a meal. Let's whiz over to Ferguson Dome now. Ferguson Dome was our very first dome. It appeared in um, 2021 on BBC Two as part of the My Unique B&B series. And so this was all made over by the BBC for the makeover. Ferguson Dome also has a toilet and a kitchen. It's got an outside sink next to its picnic bench as well and the hammocks. This is Deer Dome. This is also new for 2023, which replaces our green yet. So come and have a look inside. So Deer Dome also has a wood burner and can sleep five. We've set this one up for three and I need to put a travel cot in here. So I can always add travel cots or camp beds if you need me to. Outside Deer Dome, you'll also find a toilet and a camping kitchen. Now I'm going to take you up to our back domes which are en suite with outdoor bars. So you'll be able to drive right up here and park right outside the domes. So here we are at Class Dome. Class Dome can also sleep five, we've got a trundle bed under the bunk beds. So you've got a double bed and three singles, 
and a wood burner and a little dressing area around the side if you need a dressing area. So in here you've got an ensuite bathroom and the shower is better than our shower at home. If you come this way, you've got your own private kitchen with a fridge up here. So you've got a sink with normal hot and cold running water, a fridge, recycling bins and all your pots and pans and everything you could need. Then out here, you've got four hammocks, an outdoor bath, picnic bench and a camping gas oven. Let me show you Fed Dome. So Fed Dome has a king size bed, it also has a wood burner and a sofa and the bunk beds are cleverly hidden the other side of the bathroom so that you can tuck the kids away at night time. It's got a full shower room in here as well and the bunk beds around the back. So out here you've got a camping oven as well and then a full kitchen in here so you'll find a fridge, all the pots and pans, everything you could need to cook your dinner kettle for the oven and yeah basically all the things you can need. Then out here you've got a sofa and this one's actually a jacuzzi bar so you've got lights and bubbles in it. And you'll find the hammocks for four out here. Now if you're booking with a group and you need a little bit of extra accommodation we've now got a mini 4.4 compact dome. Let's go and see that one. come into our smallest camping dome. So we can fit a double bed and a single bed in here if we need to or just a double if that's all you need. There's no wood burner or toilet or lights or anything in here, we've just got little battery powered lights. So you'll need to share the showers and toilets with your other friends who you're staying with. So this area is a work in progress but it will be our outdoor kitchen and campfire area. We've got a stretch tent which is gonna go over this area here have seating under the, under the shelter. At the moment I'm in the middle of constructing the fire pit. I've moved the fire pit around about three times this season already but this is eventually where the fire pit is going to be and we're going to have some picnic benches and a sink over here. Then we go down to the event room area. Here is our 10 metre event dome and the Tixie trailer bar. So come into the event dome. So if you are having a group booking and you want to get everyone together in here, we can do that. Or we can have private functions in here for up to about 40 people. So our next one we've got is a networking event. So we'll be doing that in here. To finish our tour off, I'm going to take you through our new woodland. Back in 2018 we planted this brand new woodland to kind of give a bit of interest to the site, give a bit of shade and shelter and to encourage the wildlife. So you can come and explore, you can do the tattooed stone sculpture trail which is all around this area and make your way into our stone circle. You'll find a bug hotel and then there's nice little places to sit and it's just lovely to go and have a wander around. And that concludes our tour of Tracks and Cream. If you have any questions, please leave them for me in the comments or get in touch, info at tracksandcream.co.uk. And we really look forward to seeing you and hopefully you'll have a lovely summer holiday here.